There was a girl my age, but she wasn't saying. And so she thought I was weird. Aww. So here I am again, a lone ranger. It just kept on happening. I can't give you all the, but you can just go back in your life and tell the times when you do stuff. Just call her alone. Yeah. Nobody is on your side. Yeah. Nobody's with you. But here's the thing. He said, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. I don't know what that means to you, but you know, there was a little kid that was in school and in Sunday school, this was I'm talking about. The teacher said, how many of you in this class, how many of you want to go to heaven? And so everybody raised their hand to this one kid. And the kid, and the teacher said, you don't want to go to heaven, tell me. And he said, well, uh, no, because my mother said, come straight home from school. <laughs> Thank you. 
our bishop came and we have a church that uh, well the whole church <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bring Dennis and stand it over here about where Liz is. So I'm going to walk in there. Yeah, 15 people. They said, I want you to go to Puerto Rico and, and uh, plant the church. And we started packing and ready to go. I mean, what he told us to do is what we did. Yeah, right. And, and people said, you leave me, I'm going to He got a job, no. He got a place to stay, no. Because he told us there was one person here that was saved, and she would house us until we found a place to stay. So we stayed with Brother Jeffries. <laughs> she was the, um, we called her the um, newspaper lady. <laughs> that means she knows everything. <laughs> but she went on the I'll never forget Lord, I'm going to make her back to his center. She's been here for years. years. But anyway, we just did what we were told to do. You understand what I'm saying? And we felt like God through him had told us yes. what. To do. So we were obedient. We didn't go out and try to do something on our own. We came for it. We stayed with Mother Jeffrey. It's a long story. But we ended up with Faith Tabernacle later. But before that, we were in North Portland with a big church. And then I don't know about all that. But anyhow, my point is God called, them, called us to run a race. And we didn't. Uh, Question God because we were listening to what we consider to be the man of God to give us direction. If you put yourself up to somebody, you're supposed Come to on, that teach, person us, that teach, right. us, teach us, teach us, teach us, teach us. And if you don't feel like that they have the wisdom and the knowledge, then you will not be there. Right. right. Yes. Not talk about That's right. not trying. I mean, you don't go to a church where you think people don't know nothing. <laughs> oh, God. Have no knowledge of God or no education, no nothing. I mean, you gotta have one of them going for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, let me get back. Uh, in the book of Hebrews, 12th chapter, in the first verse. Uh, yes, ma'am. Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witness. Let us lay aside every weight. So if you if you a compass with a crowd of witnesses, lay aside every weight. Go ahead. And the sin mm -hmm. which so easily beset us, mm -hmm. and let us run the run with patience the race that is set before us. Look, look Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. So who are you gonna look to? Jesus. Jesus. He is the author, and he is the finish. And listen, God never starts anything that he can't finish. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He never started anything. If he sent you here, he's got a job for you. Right. Right here. Right here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Say, well, what is my job? Hallelujah. Praise you. Well, in the race, everybody runs. The one who sees Christ. Yes, yes, yes. And the one that listens and obeys is the one who gets the Christ. Yes, yes, yes. You can't, you can't run in two or three different lanes at the same time. <laughs> but, well, I don't like this lane that I'm running in, so I'm going to run in this one. I don't like this lane I'm going to run in. No. <laughs> You stay in the lane that God puts you in. That's right. And you don't be blessed, anointed, and move forward. Sometimes we may not like what goes on around us. Somebody may even do something that's not culture, as we say. But don't even look back. 
Don't look at those people. Yes. You look at the race you God has set in place. Yes. 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 Because there's not a one of you in here. I was just thinking, God placed us in a place where there is talent. You know, I, this is true. This is a which is not telling the truth, but I would rather be here right now with this group of people at Grace Covenant Fellowship Church listening to the songs and praises and worship than I would be in a church with 5,000 or 10,000. I'd rather be right here. Yeah, yeah. Because this is the race that God has called me to run. And what I'm going to do is try to do my best right here, right now, for the master. Yes, because I'm looking to him. Yes, I have one goal, and that is to finish my course oh, with God. God. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. So, if God's called you to run a race, he didn't call your family necessarily or your friends to congratulate you on the race. Yeah. So somebody may not like the way you run. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Every family member may not like the way you run. Yeah. But just keep on running. Yeah. Because God has called you yes. to run Thank this you. race. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Sometimes the era that you run in may be dark. But God knows how to light it up. Oh, yes. Yes. I think the watch going there. Thanks to Jesus. All right. I, I want you to turn with me to Genesis 37 and 12. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And his brethren went to feed their father's flock in Shechem. Mm -hmm. And Israel said unto Joseph, do not thy brother feed the flock and chicken? Mm -hmm. Come, and I will send thee unto them. And he said to him, Here am I. And he said to him, Here's what the whole, I want to hold it there. Now. I want to bring to you I, what I already said is in my introduction. <laughs> oh, dear. But I'm going to try to open up. Israel said to him, do what? What did he tell him to do? I want you to go mm -hmm. to your brother and take them some cheese. See how they're doing. Oh my God. But they were envious and jealous of him. And they connived because he had told them what God was going to do through him. Now here's the, here's the point. Remember, don't be so quick to say to other people what you see God doing in your life. Okay. Or where you see God taking you in your life. Because they will become jealous and you will cause problems that you may not have had had you not opened your life. That's right. That's right. So if God has put his hands on you, you'll see that there's a crowd coming on you and a blessing coming for you. Just hold it yeah. until it comes and let them see the blessing. Yeah. You have to boast about it. That God, God has called me to do this and so I'm going to leave this and I'm going to be done. Uh -huh. Just hold it, yeah. hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah. God will manifest himself in his own time. Yes, yes. But Joseph didn't know he was only 17. He said, well, I have a dream that you guys are going to bow down to me. <laughs> he said, we're going to see about this dream. <laughs> he said, here he comes. Let's, let's get rid of him. Oh, my God. And they did. They denied. Through no fit. Three. And he said unto him, Go, I pray thee, mm -hmm. see whether it be well with thy brother, mm -hmm. and well with the flocks, mm -hmm. and bring me word again. So he said, What I want you to do is go and bring me word about how the flock is doing. Read. 
So he sent him out of the vale of Hebron, and he came to Shechem. And a certain man found him, and behold, he was wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, What seekest thou? And he said, I seek my brethren. Tell me, I pray thee, where they feed their flocks. And the man said, They are departed hence. For I heard them say, Let us go to Dothan. And Joseph went after his brother and found him in Dothan. Mm -hmm. And when they saw him afar off, oh, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. Mm -hmm. And he said one to another, and they said one to another, Behold, this dreamer coming. Mm -hmm. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him mm -hmm. and cast him into some pit. And we will say, Some evil beasts have devoured him. And we shall see what will become of his dream. And Reuben heard it, and he delivered him out of his hand, and said, Let us not kill him. And Reuben said unto them, Shed no blood, but cast him into this pit that is in the wilderness, and lay no hand upon him, that he might rid him out of his hands to deliver him to his father again. Okay. Continue. Are you at 20? Did you get to 20? I passed 20. That's good. That's good. I just wanted the story rehearsed. Here's the thing you are a child of God. And uh, you may be called the one of the race that you cannot imagine. Yes. Joseph had had two or three dreams, and the dreams were definitely from God. It doesn't mean God has called you because you're in the pit. All right, all right. Hear what I'm saying? Yes, yes. It, that doesn't mean God will call you. Hallelujah. You might be in the pit, but God has a plan for you. If you'll notice our banner over on my left and right, Jeremiah said, God knows the plans he has for you, plans to prosper you, and to give you a hope and a future. God's plan is already written out, already done and completed, yes, yes, and the yes. end is you have the victory. Yes, yes. That's the end. Yes. You have the victory. You already, it's already planned and in the book. It's written down. Victory, 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 and he got you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He's got you. Yes. Thank you you all have to You have to see it. Thank you. I'll, I'll stay. I'll stay and listen. Thank you. You already got the victory. You're not supposed to see it. All the God sees it. Yeah. You have the eyes of God. You know that I matter. Because God said, I matter. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Keep the faith, church. Keep the faith, church. My loved ones. Keep the faith. Yes. It may look like you're going backwards sometimes. But God said, I got you. And I'm intending for you to win this race. Scripture says the race is not given to the spirit. Neither is a battle to the strong. Or you have big bread to the wise. The riches to men understand. But time and chance. Happened to them all. God loved Joseph. I had some more about that, but my time is up. God loved Joseph. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But he chose him because he could trust him yes. to go through the battle and go through the trials and to be an overcomer. Not only to be an overcomer, but to make sure that the whole country was an overcomer as it related to the family that came to the land. So be strong and of good courage 
and strengthen your heart in the Lord because you already have the victory. Thank you, Jesus. It's a good receive it and keep it.